Welcome back to the next episode of Grub or Fluff, where today we are here on Fredericksburg Road visiting the California-based burrito restaurant, Iguanas, to take on the Burrito Zilla. They're known for their monster-sized burrito that most people take home with them to eat for the next couple days. I'm trying to eat it all in one sitting. So let's not waste any more time and see what's all on this monstrous burrito. We started in, um, the, in San Jose, California. It was started by my uncle in 1994. So we've been around for, geez, about 30 years and it's been transitioned to my parents. And then now it's currently under my brothers and sisters. Definitely a family run company. It's gonna be five pounds, 18 inches. So it's roughly like this big. It comes on three 14 inch tortillas. Cheese, your choice of pinto or refried beans. Rice, your choice of any of our hand trimmed meats uh, that we all do in house and cook as close to order as possible. And we got salsa, guac, and sour cream. Put it in a big piece of foil and a big box. Has anyone ever completed it in one city? In San Antonio? Not yet. So hopefully you're the first. <laughs> so are we going to start it whenever my first bite goes? First or bite. whenever I crack this thing? First bite. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> okay. Alright. Are y'all ready for this? <laughs> oh my gosh. This thing is as long as my forearm. What in the world? Thank y'all for the box. I'll be keeping this as a memento for sure. <laughs> Alright, before we start, I do have to give a shout out to their extra spicy salsa. This is easily my favorite. And someone, one of the workers told me to put lemon in here the first time I came here. It's a game changer. It's amazing. I love it. Alright. But we're going to give the first few bites just straight up burrito. Done by the, the main chef right here. <laughs> you ready with that timer? All right. Here goes nothing. Mm. So good. Hold on, I gotta show the crowd that we got right now. <laughs> so good. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, and there's a lot in here, but you can taste all of them. It's awesome. awesome. Great. Have you tried it yet? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I think you could do it. Maybe <laughs> someday. <laughs> I told you I wasn't going to bring your records. How you doing, Bob? I'm doing good. You getting full yet? No, I think the hardest part is just trying to keep it all together. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're so right. It's a big burrito, guys. Like, easily four in one. I don't know how someone finished this in under two minutes. This is why we don't go for records. We try to enjoy it. And if it's a flub, it's a flub. Why do I do this to myself? Ugh. It's for you guys. It's for y'all. So y'all don't have to do it. <laughs> Can I get another water? Or actually, I'll do Powerade this time. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, no, it's okay. I feel like I've gone through a good portion of it. But this is tough. This is real tough. 
I, I had to switch up the drink to see if that would uh, change anything. 20 minutes. <laughs> All right, guys. This thing was the length of my forearm. I got it down to palm size, but that doesn't mean I won. So, How are you looking? not looking great. You like that fun? That was good. Stupid. That was good. No? But you know what's not good? What? I think this might be a flub. Think so? I think. I think it might. Five it, it was forearm size, but now it's like palm size, so. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it. That's it, huh? Yeah. Right, hey, nice Sorry, time, man. That's Sorry. <laughs> I think so. Oh, y'all got a fan? Yeah. No, no, you can not Yeah. Don't push it. Yeah. Can I grab a picture of you holding those left? Oh, yeah. That's it. We're sending a update to our family back. Oh, okay. Yeah. One, two. Three. That's a great one, thank you. <laughs> Dude, I had it too, first in San Antonio. I know, I was... You could have been the king. I know. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, sadly I was not able to complete this one today, so that makes this a certified flub. But that's okay, because there's always a next time. Where will I be next time? I don't know. You tell me by tagging us on Ken's Five's Facebook page or on my Twitter account if you know of any food challenges around San Antonio you'd like to see me try. But until next time, I'm Luke Whitney, and I'll see you then.